How's it going guys? I'm going to be doing another discussion video today and it's regarding whether or not next generation consoles are still worth in 2016, uh, specifically the Xbox One and the PS4. Now the reason I decided to do this video is because of the recent, recent news about the PS4 Neo, I believe is what they're calling it, with the upgraded GPU, CPU and RAM and potentially other things. So for one, when you're, when you're a console gamer you're not really thinking about the fact that Sony or Microsoft is going to come out with a console that's going to perform a decent bit better, which to my understanding this new console will. So when you buy a console you're thinking, okay this is what I'm going to have to work with for the next set of years until the new generation. I mean they of course released the Slim and, and this and that with the uh, PS3 and Xbox uh, 360, but it was never to a noticeable extent where you are you were seeing such, you were going to see such gains. So that's just something to keep in mind. Also. Uh, again, for people that want to play online, you're going to be coughing up cha some cash for PS Plus or Xbox Live Gold, which not everybody wants to do. You do get the bonuses of discounts on games, and you get the fact that you get some free games. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. I don't know, it's personally, I'd like to, I don't, I don't like it when I'm dictated to pay. If I want to pay, I'll pay, but if you can't play online. So again, this is like it's very PC like what's going on now. Uh, except you get even better prices on PC. While on PS4 and Xbox One, you're going to be paying full price most of the time. Even the discounts aren't really going to help you out when you're paying a lot. So that's something to keep in mind. And also, I don't know. I just it's not like when the PS3 and the Xbox 360 were out. You just had so many console seller games. I don't think that's happening now. I mean, Microsoft had the Halo Master Chief Collection, it's got Halo 5, but I don't think they're, they're, they're uh, console sellers like they used to be. Maybe the Master Chief Collection was. It was the biggest thing for me personally, but I don't know, there's just not much, especially with Microsoft making such a push for on PC with uh, new games. So you're getting, you've got Gears of War on, on PC, you've got, I believe Fours is coming, you had Quantum Break, KI is now on PC, so even like the niche stuff, like for fighting, Fighting games, for example, Sony's dominating because they have a ton of games, and now KI was only on Xbox One, and now you got on PC. So even for the people that were holding out to potentially buy consoles so that they could play a specific game or two, a lot of games are starting to come to PC. And uh, I don't know. I'm just having a hard time wonder, uh, understanding why it'd be worth it in this day and age. There's so many games on PC. You've got customiz customizability. You can buy PCs for a decent price. And I don't know, you don't have to pay to play play online. So yeah, so I was just wondering, what are your guys' thoughts? This is just something that came to my mind, and I was, uh, I don't know, thought I'd talk about it. So if you guys have anything that comes to mind, or you guys have some input on this, this discussion, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And subscribe if you're new to the channel, I'll do more discussion videos and more gameplay videos in the future. Thanks for watching.